got these one good thing bars to review because I kept seeing them all over TikTok and I'm easily influenced. And this is how it went. If you're anything like me, you'll have seen sponsored ads for these one good thing bars all over TikTok for months. And the whole point in this was that it's wrapper free and you can just pop it in your bag or pocket and then take it out and eat it on the go. And I was like, I do not want to be pulling something out the bottom of my bag without a wrapper on it and eat it. That's how you die. Or even the thought of taking it out of your pocket and there's like pocket fluff or hanky or whatever else stuck to it. And then you're eating it. And I was like, no thanks. So this is what I commented and they says, oh, you can rinse it off with water and just eat it. And I was like, right, I'm being a bit of a bitch here. I think I'm going to have to actually buy them and see what happens. Just to be fair. So I ended up purchasing a box of six. This cost me £11 for six and I chose six different flavours. Now, I thought that that was kind of expensive considering I really like like frosty cereal bars, right? So they're like one thirty five for six and it's 100 calories per bar. These are approximately 145 calories per bar. And I, okay, you've got wrappers with the frosty cereal bars, right? But this came and I was like, right, okay, this is in a really nice box. I'll open this up, right? So it's like quite a lot of cardboard here. This is doubled up. This opens up. And then you've got this little frame to protect them. So this is not cheap crap packaging, right? It's pretty good. So inside the box, which is already quite a lot of packaging, you also get this booklet. And this is not crap they're giving you, right? This is quality paper. It's all printed in colour. And it's got like... All, all things about the company and they're obviously really passionate about what they're doing right they're wanting to give you these snacks without any wrappers and then you've got all the nutritional values the, all the different flavours it tells you about all the different flavours and stuff and then in the back you've got the use by date of the bars that you've bought so this is really good stuff right they're already giving you quite a lot of packaging here considering it's supposed to be no packaging so I tried this for the first time, I was sitting with my friend and a bit into it and I was like, oh, the wax was absolutely disgusting. So I let my friend taste it and they were like, all, all you've got is the wax, it's not going anywhere, it's not doing anything. So I peeled the wax off and the flapjack inside was actually quite nice. But these are £1.50 each and I know they'll say they're high protein, blah, 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 right, but they're £1.50 each. And they're 145 calories roughly each bar in comparison to a cereal bar that you can get six for less than £1.50. So in order to give it a fair review I let a few of my friends try them. One girl I let her try when we were sitting in Starbucks and she was just like the actual flapjack's fine, the wax is disgusting. Really the actual flapjack's nice, the wax is great. <laughs> <laughs> Other people in work that I gave them, it literally bit into them, like chewed them for a wee minute and like just spat them in the bin. Like that, that wax is so bad. Out of everybody that I gave one of these to, only one person managed to eat the full thing and it was comical to watch, right? I think they just didn't want to be rude because this is I'm reviewing this for TikTok and I just want somebody to give it an honest review. So theirs was like honeycomb flavour and this is it tastes nothing like honeycomb but the actual flapjack inside is okay but when they were eating it they were literally like eating it and then drinking through this massive bottle of water every time you turn around they were just drinking this water and they were like i can't get the wax to go down it's just like the wax is taking over the, f the full thing and there was me and like three other people there and we just couldn't stop laughing at how bad this was right and i was like you can just put it in the bin and he's like no 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 it's fine i can eat it and he's just down in this full bottle of water so it was a total disaster right so nobody liked these five people including me tried them this is the last one that's left and nobody liked them only one person managed to eat the full thing so that doesn't really speak volumes on tiktok everybody's going to be saying oh this is my new favorite snack this is amazing because they're sponsored right and i've actually been thinking about joining the tiktok shop and starting putting links and stuff but it's really putting me off because I'm still going to give something a bad review and then link it in case you want to try it. Like I did the Brain Blasters, like the Sour Sweeties, and they were not sour at all. I still would have put a link down below. But these are just not good. When I had actually went on again and I left a comment saying, why 
do you give so much packaging with it? Why don't you just cover it with paper? I already kind of knew the answer to this, but they replied and said it's because it wouldn't protect the flapjack, like the flapjack would go soggy or whatever. And I was like, right, okay, I obviously knew that. But then I thought to myself, why don't they just cover it in wax paper that you rip off? And I know it's a wrapper, but then it'll still be biodegradable. But they could literally cover it in this wax, like a half the amount of wax with paper and just wrap it round it. Do you know what I mean? Then you wouldn't have to eat this abomination. It's absolutely disgusting. And it's 100% not worth 145 calories. And it's so bad, in fact, that I've been saying to people in work, oh, will you make a TikTok with me or will you make a YouTube video with me? And they're like, oh, I don't trust you after you made me eat that soap. Obviously, it doesn't taste like soap, but it's got, like, the texture of soap. Nobody trusts me anymore. Nobody trusts me. I took these sour sweeties in and they thought that I was playing a trick on them because they had tried these and they thought they were disgusting. And it's so bad. It's so bad. This is apple and blackcurrant, and I can taste the slightest apple and blackcurrant. But it's just waxy. Obviously, if you're in a situation where you're sitting inside, you can pull this off and put it in the bin. But if you're on the go, you don't want to be pulling the wax off and throwing it on the street or putting it in your pocket or putting it in your bag or whatever. So it's not practical. At least if it was a wax paper or a wax coated paper, you would be able to just take it off and put it in the, the bin later. I don't understand. And see people who keep advertising these and saying, oh, these are my new obsession, blah, blah, blah. They're talking absolute shit. Right, I know that everybody's got a different taste, but it's it's blatant lies. Like, look, look. The wax is still stuck in my teeth and it's stuck around my tongue. It's absolutely disgusting. I feel bad for the company because they've obviously got a goal and they're really trying their best, but they need to get rid of this wax. It's absolutely minging.